Well, good morning to everyone. I didn't hear any response to that. <laughs> I mean, good morning. good morning. Terrific. Great to see everybody. Thank you very much for joining us today for this uh, terrific event. And I'm really glad to be here to mark the 40 years of this important building uh, and honoring the legacy of the remarkable Willard Ice. Yeah, Mr. Revenue, I keep thinking to myself that, uh, that because that name is, is uh, taken already, we can't nickname David Harris Mr. <laughs> Revenue. But many of you know that he was uh, the ranking member on the Revenue Committee for many years and, uh, and distinguished himself. And uh, after he decided no longer to serve uh, in the legislature, it was my great good fortune to be able to bring him on board in our administration. And honestly, um, whatever success that we've had in uh, the, the work of the Department of Revenue, I want to say starts with the leadership that the agency now has. But I also want to say that the people that have been hired for the Department of Revenue, the people that work here and have worked here for a couple of decades some, uh, who some of them stand on the balconies here today, um, I'm so proud of the work that you do. I'm proud of the work of the employees of the Department of Revenue and frankly, the hard work that our employees of the state of Illinois do. And so that's one reason why it's such a great honor to stand in front of so many of you. Um, we get to work together every day. Sometimes I don't get to talk to all of you or you to me, uh, but uh, the work that you do uh, is results in great things for the state of Illinois. And so that is uh, just my personal note of gratitude to, to all of you. Um, I want to generally thank the, the dedicated uh, public servants that are here today and um, in addition to celebrating this legacy that we're celebrating, um, I want to acknowledge some of the other folks who are on stage here uh, with me. Of course, David Harris, um, uh, Nate Bottom, who's the chief engineer for the city of Springfield, uh, my partners in the General Assembly who are not on stage but some in the audience here today. Uh, we don't get anything done in this state without a partnership uh, and very often in a bipartisan fashion because there are more things that we uh, know that we need to work on together uh, that we can find common ground on and we do. And so I really appreciate the bipartisan nature of it um, but, but also just generally the, the General Assembly and I, I think have had a good working relationship and I'm grateful for that. Um, of course, you know, uh, it's hard to honor Willard Ice without also acknowledging uh, the superintendent of, uh, of the uh, School for the Visually Impaired, um, Amy Veith, and of course Kaylee Cole, who's representing Willard's uh, alma mater uh, sitting here in front. And um, I'm really pleased that we have uh, so many really talented people coming from the school and particularly uh, the talent that Kaylee uh, will bring to the effort. And I hope, Kaylee, that you'll think about coming to work as all of these people have for the state of Illinois. We need you. Um, our celebration here today is an opportunity to reflect on the incredible life of Willard Ice and, of course, to, to honor this great building. Um, after an accident had left him blind, as, as the director said, at a very young age, he went on to really excel in his studies in college and graduate school. He became an attorney um, and was also, importantly, a, an accomplished musician and songwriter uh, in his spare time. And, uh, and people came to know him for that. In fact, he has uh, a number of copyrights of songs uh, in his name. And I think that's, you know, as we think back on someone's life, we sometimes tend to silo uh, the things that we want to honor them for, but, but also just the good person that he was is worth remembering. Forty years ago, this building was named in his honor, and it's a testament to the lasting impact that he had on so many other people, and of course, the many years of service that he gave to the state of Illinois. Thirty-five years here at the Department of Revenue, and uh, even being, as mentioned, for three months, the director of the department, but uh, under his leadership and during his time here, uh, we saw 
global conflict and economic transformation, cultural upheaval, a lot happened uh, while he was uh, working here. Indeed, there were uh, seven different governors. Uh, I'll just uh, quickly tell you that when I first became governor uh, and I walked into the James R. Thompson Center in Chicago, uh, there was a gentleman who had worked for many years there who was in charge of dealing with maintenance and anybody who's been to the James R. Thompson Center knows that was quite a job. Uh, and, uh, and I introduced myself and I said, uh, how long have you worked here? And he said, six governors. <laughs> and I thought, he really put me in my place. <laughs> you know, he's in charge, not the governors. Uh, from impl implementation of the general sales tax in this state to the dispersal of World War II veteran state bonuses, uh, Willard Ice played a, a really important role in some of the most challenging and, and formative moments of our uh, existence. Uh, throughout it, uh, Willard was a steady hand. He was protecting Illinois' taxpayers and helping shape the economy and the communities that we all get to enjoy today. We often think about history in terms of epic moments and icons, uh, generals, inventors, presidents, but our history is really shaped by a lot of everyday heroes like Willard Ice, who, who do all sorts of unseen work that lays the foundation for our future. So for 35 years, he spent every single day changing the world for the better, brick by brick. That's what people said about him. Through thousands and thousands of seemingly small acts of service and kindness, which I think we need more of in public service today. Standing here in this beautiful lobby, I cannot think of a more fitting testament to Willard. For 40 years, IDOR uh, employees have walked through the doors of this building, named in his honor, to carry on that heroic work, protecting the taxpayers of Illinois and helping fund the future we want to leave our children. In my time in office, you, the hardworking men and women of IDOR, have been a, an integral part of implementing our agenda, from helping coordinate our minimum wage increase to processing grocery and property tax relief uh, to dispersing tax credits to workers and businesses. It may not get written about in the history books, but it has improved lives and undeniably changed our state for the better. And that's the truest embodiment of public service. It's a true legacy also to Willard Ice. This building has also served as a pillar of community life here in Springfield, hosting celebrations of all sorts. Uh, it's been the backdrop for cherished memories while housing the ever important work of the Department of Revenue, the type of impact and visibility that you should expect from your state government. So that's why my administration and my partners in the General Assembly uh, have made preserving and protecting the Willard Ice Building a priority. After years of backlogs and funding shortages, uh, we've given this historic building the type of investment that it richly deserves. Um, again, things that often people don't think about, but HVAC upgrade, if you live in this, work in this building, <laughs> you sure know, right? Um, H, H, HVAC upgrades, uh, roof replacements, sprinkler and security system replacements, um, for nine years, the parking garage here had been closed due to structural deficiencies. Our appropriations got it reopened during my first term. Yeah. So a building of this importance to our history, to our community, to the taxpayers of Illinois deserves nothing less, and we were very proud to deliver. Uh, I want to thank you all again for celebrating this building and the legacy of its namesake. I want to extend my gratitude to each of you for doing the sometimes often unseen but always appreciated work of public service. So here's to the next 40 years of progress. And now it's my great pleasure to introduce Nate Bottom, uh, Springfield's chief engineer, who's here representing Mayor Misty Busher. Thank you, Governor. Good morning, everyone. I am grateful to be here with all of you to celebrate this important milestone for the Willard Ice Building. On behalf of Mayor Misty Busher, who sends her regrets for not being able to join us 
so she may tend to her husband in this time of need. I'm honored to speak with you today. For 40 years, this iconic building has been a cornerstone of Springfield. With its unique all-glass triangular open atrium design, the Willard Ice Building is a remarkable symbol of our city's architectural ingenuity and the strength of our community. Spanning three blocks and encompassing over three quarters of a million square feet, it is a testament to both form and function. Housing critical state operations and operating continuously around the clock 365 days a year. This building bears the name of a man who dedicated his life to public service. Willard Ice was not only a distinguished attorney, but a, who dedicated his life to public service. Willard was not only a distinguished attorney, but also a pillar of the Illinois Department of Revenue for over three and a half decades. His legacy, his legacy is one of integrity, dedication, and excellence, a legacy that continues to inspire us all. On behalf of the mayor, we extend our gratitude to everyone who has contributed to the building success and ongoing operations. Thank you, Director Harris. And a distinguished guest, my fellow uh, team members from the Department of Revenue, the distinguished members of the General Assembly, so delighted to have you here today. That concludes our, our ceremony, which I think is a very memorable one. And you probably won't see me in 40 years, but I can tell you some of you may be here. Thank you very much.